November 19th, 2018. This video is called Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station Unit 4 Fuel Pool Radiation Spike. Carrying on the lies that spent fuel pool number 4 is still there. Now, even on their annual report to the members, they admitted that they were lying with data. And I thought it read that they were going to change that and be truthful now. But this is totally ridiculous because look at this tweet the Tokyo Electric Power Company put out, verified. And they're showing Unit 4 spent fuel pool, right? But look at the day on this. The date is actually October 29th, 2018. Now that's a very interesting date. Because when I was looking at this, TEPCO plans on stopping injecting water at the Fukushima reactors, but in March of 2019. And they're going to do it to reactor number two, which this is crazy. They're going to do it just so they could test it for data. And they're going to, it says, they're going to cut back on water injections by about half to one and a half tons per hour for about a week before halting completely in March to check results. It estimates a seven-hour stoppage may raise the water temperature reactor by 1.4 degrees, but says the injections will resume if it rises more than 15 degrees. This thing could go like really out of control. But this is number two. What I want to show you is this number four. All right, we're going to have to keep an eye on this because I don't know if you were thinking what I was thinking when I was reading this. Like maybe if they say unit two was successful, they're going to test unit four and then something goes wrong and then they could say, oh, it caught fire and it's gone. Maybe they're setting it up for the uh, like the bait and switch kind of. Just, so just keep that in mind in the future if they try to pull this stunt on Unit 4 and uh, they cease uh, putting water on it and then all of a sudden it might um, like uh, they might say, hey, it melted down and then they're going to make the excuse of that's where it went. Now remember, here is what they're showing that number four is. Now this either goes to show how far they are willing to cover this up because if all this happened to those fuel pools, we have four major reporters, CNN, CBS, BBC, saying that they are in this same reactor. When if you look on the left, this is the exact same reactor that we are talking about. So there is a major problem with this picture that these reporters are trying to paint because... It's a picture that doesn't exist. It's an illusion. Now, remember here, this is the official use only emails, the secret emails with um, uh, the reports for Fukushima. It states 100% of total spent fuel was released to the atmosphere from Unit 4. So that went, uh, there's nothing left. It wasn't running, but they stored all of the fuel in that that went up. Now, listen to this uh, description of what happened. Now, what happened at Fukushima was when the whole site lost power, at Fukushima 4, there was no reactor operating. All the fuel had been removed and was in the fuel pool. Now, normally the pools are cooled. However, they lost power, so there was no longer any, any cooling. It appears that the pools boiled dry. The uh, roof blew off the building. That indicates that hydrogen was built up from uh, something called the Zircaloy water reaction that had to occur at temperatures over 2200 degrees. Well, this picture is undated, but it, when it was taken, 
it clearly shows that there's no water in the pool. Now, if you look, there's a, there's a green, long green device, and that's the refueling bridge. Normally, that glides along on rails above the pool, and the pool is that crystal clear water that you normally are used to seeing. Well, after the explosion, it has collapsed and is lying in the pool. Now, between seconds 33 and 37 on this video, you can see little boxes. And the little boxes are just to the left of that green bridge. The boxes are in air. Those boxes are the top of nuclear fuel racks. They're supposed to be under 30 feet of water. They're not. Now, what that means to me is a couple things. First off, the top of the nuclear fuel is exposed. Perhaps all the nuclear fuel is exposed, but certainly the top is. You can see steam coming up, but not from the top of the fuel. Down further in the cavity, there's steam coming up. So the water that they're spraying in is hitting the nuclear fuel and creating steam, but it's not filling that swimming pool. Now, the water has two purposes, cooling, but also shielding. So that means that the nuclear fuel is unshielded. That emits gamma rays, and the gamma rays go up into the sky, bounce off of air molecules through something called sky shine, and rain back down on the site as a background radiation that's much higher than normal. That makes work on site really difficult, and it makes work on that refueling pool almost lethal. Here is the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center. I end up buying the subscription, so you got access to the data, and now... The spike is coming off of this unit right here, off of uh, the low end of where all these, I guess these Geiger counters are set around the nuclear power plant. Since 2011, the radiation counts are going down. It shows on all of these, but there's a spike on these right here within the past month, on, and it started on... October 29th. Now, I don't know if it was the wind, rain, waves, earthquake. I don't know what caused this spike. If they're playing around with something over there, but check this out. Now, here is the data. Now, I'm going to go through all eight uh, spots there. I'm going to do the seven-year one day average, and then I'll do the, the last month. Now here is number one. There's number two. There's number three, and you could see there's that little spike right here. See, October 29th. Number four, number five, number six, see the spike? Number seven, and number eight was the one I that I got noticed the most. See, um, it looks like it's on October 30th. It jumps to 2000 from 742 so it at least doubled so now let's check out these are the one week one hour average that's number one now number one is starts at the top and goes down There's number one, two, three, four, five. It's shown right now. It's not available, but I have it. Six, seven, eight. See, that's the highest one, 8,000. Oh, there we go. Five. 
Okay, so that's the placement of where they're at. This is number one. This is a one week, one hour average. Two, see they're all consistent. Three, four, see look at five, pow, six, seven, eight. There's the one year. This is as of 9.51 p.m. Now I noticed, look at how the little symbols are. The red is at the bottom. Now, the ones that I want to focus on is 3, 6, and 8 are the ones that got the spots. Now, I think they start up here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 3... Six and eight, those three spots are is where we get this little spike from. So I don't know what th that means. So th check it out over here. This is the one year average. Three, six, three. Three's got the little baby one. There's six. And eight. Those are the only ones that have the spikes. Now on this big one over here, let's go to the month. There is the time, October 29, 2018, at 1050 p.m. It goes from 1,000 to 8,800. Actually, it was at 764 to there. So something happened. So there you go. Something is happening at Fukushima right now. It's kind of like the stock market. We lost all our gains. It's as radioactive spike as it was back in 2013. But the problem is those were constants and, and something happened to pop it like right up there. So this is just like right now. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye out. what's going on over here now i bought the membership and you get to all this this is kind of worth it. it's only 1995 or 1999 let's see exactly where this one is stationed at this is right by no wonder it looks like that's a fence. I thought maybe that was a... It looks like that... I don't know if that's where it's placed. Well, here's where they're at. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so something's happening over here. Which is the worst spot. This spot over here. Three, six, and eight. Radiation spike.
Bytes. Yeah. Mm -hmm.